Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So I just started about 400 snapdragons in my basement. I'm getting a little bit of a late start to the day, but I am taking out <laughs> my stock in one trail of Xanthus to start the hardening off process. I will be bringing more and more out as I go, but I ran out of space. I needed to put my snapdragons under grow lights. So I thought, you know what? These are all going into my cold frame at the farm and we'll see how they do. All right, I got them out here. They're gonna get one hour of sunlight and then they're gonna go in there. And then I thought while I was out here, I would show you real quick the tulips. I think they're standing up. So let's take a look at them. So these were the ones that were all fluffed over the other day. They've got their little buds in them and they all stood back up. So that must be another weird thing that tulips do. Maybe when they get cold, they lean over to protect themselves. And then when they warm up, they stand back up let you see these other ones that I was really worried about. Look at these beauties. They're standing straight up now. They're not leaning over or flopped over at all. Love those leaves. And they feel real firm. Like the 22 degrees didn't even hurt them. I mean, maybe the flowers will be smaller or maybe it hurt the buds, um, but it didn't seem to hurt them at all. They're still budding up and some of them might be ready to pick soon. So today was one of those days that I was able to run around a lot <laughs> and not accomplish a lot, but I did get all of my posts in for my um, middle deer fence, except for the side where I want to till. Um, I still need to figure out what the outer, I'm trying to go back and forth if I want T-posts or just a post. It's only one line of light electric fence, so I don't know that I need a T-post, but I might do a T-post just to make it stronger. I haven't decided yet, but I just wanted to give you an update. I'll flip you around. And then I did run, you can kind of see on the, along the bottom here, I ran one line around just so I could make my poles pretty straight and um get that done and then i usually do anchor these but when i get ready to do the deer fence i'll do a real quick rundown i already did the one video on how i do it but i'll do a quick rundown on how i do it again um and just you know pretty much i do on the inside one that i'm doing today i just did them at 18 inches 36 inches 54 inches Last year I did run one more line at the very bottom because a critter was getting in like a rabbit or something and that seemed to alleviate the problem. So I might do that again after I get it all hooked up and ready to go. Um, but for now, that's what I got done today. I'm gonna head home. I just wanted to give you an up. Okay, so it's another new day and I got all of my plants in the basement water. That takes me quite a bit these days because there are a lot of trays. I brought some more trays out to harden off. I've just been leaving them in the sun for about an hour. And then I put them back into my little cold frame. And then I got sidetracked. I was gonna work on the other garden. And I was considering putting my stock Lysianthus and Snapdragons just along the tulips under the rose. But I was like, you know what? Those, season, those flowers go all season long. These hoops are not spaced so that they're easy to work in. And the tulips are starting to bloom. I saw color on them. They're gonna be ready to pick. Not all of them, but like, there's maybe three today that I'm like, those look like they're ready to pick. And then some of the white varieties, I'm not so sure, there might be even more. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take these hoops down and get this frost cloth out of here. That way on really windy days, I don't have the chance that it's gonna whip into my tulips. And I think when I'm picking them, it'll make it a lot easier just to have these out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get it done because I'm not gonna deal with a flower that I have to deal with all year long in hoops that don't have the proper spacing and all of that. So I'm gonna get that done. Um, and then I'm probably gonna work on that other field. I am hardening some of these crops off. So I do need to have a row where I have hoops and support netting for my Lysianthus and Snapdragons. Um, and I think I'm gonna do that up on the other side of this house this year. It makes me nervous because I've done it out in the field every year. I am gonna put Snapdragons out in that field as well. Um, 
and maybe even lysanthus. Maybe I'll do half and half just so I still have a crop if anything, you know, they don't do well up here or something. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get these hoops down. <laughs> Okay, I was able to get all of the hoops out and I was actually able to pull all the rebar out of the ground except for two two pieces of rebar. So hopefully I don't trip and impale myself on those, but no, I'll try to figure out a way to get them out. Usually I just pull them out with my tractor if they're too tough, but I obviously can't get it in here yet, but I might be able to later. So I'm not too worried about it. One's along the fence and then one's right out there in the middle. So got that project done. I got all of my plants hardened off for one hour and put back into the greenhouse. And now I'll take you around and show you some of the tulips. Okay, so these are the best white. And if you look at this tulip, you can see some white on it. It's not cracking all the way at the top, but it's starting to crack. So I might give that one a little bit more time. Then I have, you can see that there are tulips tulip buds in here. It's starting to get color on the tip of it. And now look at this tulip. This tulip, in my opinion, is ready to pull, but it's the only one. So I'm like, do I pull it and put it in the cooler? And then I've got weird ones like this that it might be ready to pull. <laughs> I mean, it the it's kind of opening up here. Um, I might let it, since these are the very first ones, I might let them go ahead and get a little more color. And then I've got some doubles that are starting to actually show color and they're starting to split at the top. So that would be two. Like if I was out here and all of them look like that, I might be pulling them. There's only really two that look like that right now. And then over here, these are also a white tulip. And they are losing the green. That one, see, is still closed, but this one almost looks like it's starting to open up. But I'll probably give them a little bit more time. just seems ready. It's ready to pull. It's the only one though. So do I pull it or do I just let it get some more color? I want to pull this tulip. I do. Because I probably, I don't know. I'll pull it tomorrow maybe. 
it's only one, but I could put it in a cooler and then I could use it later because it would slow down its growth. Um, and that one's starting to open up a little bit. I pulled them last year, pulled the whole bulb out, put a little bit of water in the bottom of the bucket, not much. And they actually grew in the buckets, the stems grew. Um, and then at the end, they actually started opening up even in the cooler, but Maybe if you cut them instead of having the bulb on them and storm cut, maybe they wouldn't do that. Maybe they wouldn't continue to grow because the bulb is still feeding them. So maybe they wouldn't continue to grow and open up until you put them in water with some food. So that's one thing I could test. It's been working for me to pull all the bulbs. I ran out of tulips last year, so I'll probably continue to do that. I did think this year it would be cool to try to snip some off low, leave two leaves, and then see what they do next year. Because I know when they're trying to get bulb production, they go through and just cut off the tops. And then the leaves send energy into the bulb. And I'm in a zone where it gets cold enough that tulips will bloom year after year after year. I have tulips in my yard that have been blooming for five years. And they say they get smaller. Um, and maybe they're getting a little bit smaller than they used to be, but not much. So I don't know. I don't know where it came from to pull the whole bulb. I've been doing it as a flower farmer. I pull the whole bulb. I feel like I get a longer stem length because with that bulb on, that flower grows in the cooler but doesn't open up. Towards the end, it will open up. So maybe that's it. You get longer stems that way. You get a little bit more stem because if you put your tulips, you know, six inches below the ground, you're going to lose all that stem length. But if you pull it up by the bulb, you get all the stem length. But a lot of people even do shorter arrangements with tulips. And if you're going to do some shorter arrangements, I don't know why you'd pull the whole bulb. Because they would work in shorter arrangements without it. But if you want to get the big, tall tulip vases, then you definitely need to pull them by the bulb. So I think there could be two ways of doing it. And I've even thought to myself, well, I should leave some varieties and just cut them and do short arrangements with them and then see how they come back every year because maybe you could alternate by cutting them every other year and if you had a big group of them I mean that'd be a lot of flowers and a lot of money you'd save and you could still offer like small arrangements and you could plant some for the people that want the big tall ones but a lot of people like shorter arrangements on their tables at home because they can see over them you know in the big big tall arrangements they don't get that so there is two different groups of people and what they're looking for and a lot of times when you have subscriptions i've noticed where people put them and some people put them in places where they want the tall ones but some people like the shorter arrangements even ask for the shorter arrangements because they want to see over them at the table or whatever so on those you could have a patch that come back every year and not have to put all that money into the bulbs every year so that's just a thought i've had but anyway, I got all of this area ready. I didn't pull the tulips even though I thought I might. I should go pull that red one. But it's just one. It's just one little tulip. Mm, maybe I'll pull it. <laughs> then I have to go get a bucket and put it in there and get my cooler running. And that just seemed... Well, I have my refrigerator. I don't know how cold my refrigerator is. All right, we're going to pull it. <laughs> so if it grows in the cooler and it's that tall, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good size. So I guess I'll get inside, get this cleaned off, and get it in the cooler. <laughs>
All right, I pretty much have all the poles in for my fence. I'm just missing four poles right over there. So, and that's where I want to back my tractor in and then till it and be able to drive out. I mean, the line is there right now. I might put the poles in. I haven't really decided yet because it would be nice to like work up a gate system and then be able just to open it, pull my tractor in and then pull out, which I think I'll want to do if I leave this up over the winter, then next spring I could come in and pull my fabric back, till it, and then keep up this fence with the landscape fabric, hopefully. We will see. I don't know. I mean, this stuff does tear more easily than the plastic kind, so maybe it'll get crazy with weeds, but for now, I have pretty much my whole fence up, but four posts. Yay! And then I just have to run two more lines around it. I did run out of the new line I bought, so I might just buy one more roll and start fresh this year with new line. I have line back there that I'll use to like fix stuff, um, but I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day so I can get cleaned up, watch the Iowa girls play basketball tonight, or today actually. I think they play in about 30 minutes. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to keep you up to date on what I'm doing. I hope everybody's enjoying the progress and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.